Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This vlog is gonna be another couple days in the life with us. It's actually the weekend, so we're gonna do some fun things this weekend. Right now we're headed to get some costumes. Carter really wants to be Mickey. And then I'm still trying to figure out what kind of costume I want Nyla to have. I was thinking Minnie Mouse, but I haven't been able to find a Minnie Mouse costume her size. So I don't know if she'll be able to be Minnie Mouse or not. But we were thinking about Carter being Mickey, Nyla being Minnie Mouse and Derek was thinking about getting some like goofy ears I don't know we haven't been able to find any goofy ears either so we'll see what we can find and then tomorrow we are gonna take some pictures at the pumpkin patch so that should be fun so yeah we're just gonna have like a fun little weekend and I'm gonna take you guys along with us all right y'all we in Walmart now looking for the costumes look babe it's some right here Carter, you want to be Mickey? All right, and I actually, we did find a mini. Oh, and I even see a six to 12 months. Okay. Yeah, this is perfect. I'm also gonna cop one of these. Let's see. Carter. All right guys, so we are back from Walmart. We ended up getting the costumes, thankfully. I ended up getting the 3T to 4T for Carter and then the Minnie Mouse. Um, the smallest size I could find for the Minnie Mouse was the um, six to 12 month. We also got one of the little um, jack o lantern things that you collect the candy in. So we got one of those. Um, and then I also got some of these pretzels here and some chocolate. I got regular chocolate and I got white chocolate. And I got some sprinkles too. And then I got some bows for her for the fall. So I thought these would be cute. So I got the pretzels, the sprinkles, the chocolate. Cause I know y'all been seeing the uh, viral spider web thing with the pretzels. Carter has my phone, so I can't show y'all, but I'll show y'all when we make them though. I really want to make some with Carter. Hopefully he'll be interested in it. Cause lately he's been like into cooking sets and when he likes to play kitchen and pretend like he's cooking and stuff like that. And sometimes, when I'm up here, he likes to cook with me or, you know, stuff like that. He likes to be a little bit more involved. So I thought it'd be a fun activity for us to do, especially with spooky season and Halloween coming up and stuff. So anyways, right now I'm going to try to get the kids settled because we got back and the baby's a little bit cranky. She's still sick. Um, the antibiotics are working though, but she's still a little sick and a little cranky. She's also teething. So I'm going to get them settled and then and later I'll see if he wants to make some. All right guys, so it's a little bit later. I'm gonna try to go ahead and start making these um, viral spiderweb pretzels. This is what I was telling you guys. Last year with over seven million views and I just had to bring them back. Let's go. You're gonna place eight gluten-free pretzels on a line baking dish like so, then place a dollop of melted white chocolate or milk chocolate to the center. This is going to help bind the pretzels together. Then create circles around the pretzels until you reach the end of the pretzels. Run a toothpick through the chocolate to form the web look and then sprinkle some best sprinkles on top and freeze. 
all right so that's what we're gonna make we're gonna try to make it i don't know how it's gonna work out but i wanted to do something kind of festive so i'm gonna have carter help me if he's up for it if he's not i'll just make them y'all because y'all know how toddlers are This was our attempt at the viral pretzel spider webs. It was fun to make. They don't look like how everybody else I look. That one. But we tried, we tried. <laughs> and that's what matters. I'm not gonna lie, the um, chocolate part, like putting the white chocolate part in, um, in this little Ziploc bag, cause I didn't have like one of those squeeze things so i put it in a little ziploc bag that was one of the hardest things like melting the chocolate putting it in the bag that was very annoying so if you decide to do this definitely get a squeeze bottle it makes it a lot easier but that's all we had then in the middle of it the bag ended up bursting so i had to put the chocolate in the in another bag so yeah it was it was a bit more challenging than it looked but we have fun so that's what matters Oh no! Now he's just making a mess. So let me go clean this up. Good morning, guys. I'm trying to get ready because we are about to go to the pumpkin patch to take some pictures. So that's going to be exciting. Um, right now, I'm in the kids' bathroom trying to get ready, and Derek's trying to get them dressed. But yeah, I'm excited. It'll be the first time we take pictures with the baby. So that's going to be really exciting. The last time we took pictures and went to the pumpkin patch was when Carter was like the baby's age because we skipped last year because I was pregnant and I was you know in my first trimester and feeling sick and stuff so I didn't feel like doing any of that so now she's here we're gonna take pictures of brother and sister I can't wait to see how they turn out the weather is phenomenal uh I don't know if you guys saw the last vlog but I got them like some new outfits for it and their long sleeves so I was kind of worried about it because girl you know in Florida you don't never know what you're gonna get like um and it and it still may get hot later but right now the weather is beautiful it feels amazing outside y'all I ran completely out of foundation I feel like I'm out of everything I'm telling you it's gonna be a time where I like get my sexy back but right now is not the time you know that's what i gotta tell myself i'm like it's a time for everything and it, it's not a time right now for you to be i mean if you can you can but right now you don't really have it in you to be the baddest thing around you know what i mean so you gotta just do the best you can when it comes to looking good like it's not my number one priority like don't get me wrong I want to look presentable but yeah I'm trying not to rush the baby growing up but I would be lying if I said sometimes I'm not like when she turns one like I'm gonna get some freedom and I'm gonna be able to do for myself the way I want to like sometimes I do get like my head in the future 
but right now she's so cute and so sweet and I know one day I'm gonna be like dang I wish I could have those days back because right now it's just like she's just so cute and it's just a time that you know they're babies for like a blink of an eye but they're big kids for a lot longer of a time and I, I know I'm gonna wish this time back so I'm trying not to wish it away but there is a part of me that's like you can focus more on yourself when she's get when she turns about one because then she won't have to be held all the time she won't have to you know need you she won't have to feed every so often and you won't be on time constraints and you won't have to carry a thousand bags with you um because i plan to stop breastfeeding at one like i did with carter and i won't have to worry about trying to pump at work and all that stuff so you know i'm making it sound like it's it's terrible it's not terrible it's just a lot a lot to do so yeah and i'm, I'm trying to soak it all up just in case this is my last baby now do i want it to be my last baby no i don't want it to be my last baby but likely it may be my last baby because um Derek don't want no more kids and if he don't want no more kids I ain't having no more kids because I ain't having kids if you don't want no more you know so right now the current form of birth control yeah I, I actually never told you guys this but I ended up getting an IUD and y'all I was so scared to get an IUD because everybody was saying like it hurts so bad when you get it inserted and you know I actually got the um non-hormonal IUD and I actually really like it like everybody was saying oh it'll hurt when you get it put in and stuff like that and don't get me wrong it wasn't pleasant now but I did get it put in I think I was like two months postpartum so they say that like your cervix is a lot more soft then so that may be why it wasn't like excruciating and it only took like five minutes for the procedure um i did feel nauseous afterwards and like i did feel like a little sick but that kind of they gave me some apple juice and they gave me like some crackers and then after that it was gone and then they were saying with the non-hormonal one, your periods are a lot stronger. Um, they hurt a lot more. You bleed a lot more. So I was like, eh, I really don't want that. Like, I do not want to be bleeding all the time. And I used to have really bad periods, but after I had Carter, my periods are the best. Like, I never thought I would be able to experience a period the way I was able to after Carter. Like, my pain levels used to be like a 10 like I used to be on the floor cramped up but after I had him the pain was like a one to two like I was good but with this IUD I really I don't think I've experienced a period so I don't want to say like they're not bad because I don't think I've had a period yet um you do get like a little bit of spotting for like two weeks or so afterwards but I'll let y'all know I'll definitely keep y'all up to date on like how i feel you know during the process because i was so scared to get it because everybody got such horror stories and even the doctor when he was about to put it in he was like yeah um some people have to go under anesthesia and if if i need to put you under anesthesia i will it was like for an iud if i gotta go under anesthesia um it's cool i i we we'll go back to the uh unsafe method it is it's definitely cool but yeah so now that i got the iud it won't be any more surprise babies i feel like everybody gotta have a surprise baby at least one time in your life you know what i mean at least one time but i got my one time out the way you know so i am good on that you hear me so even when baby fever do come in, because I know it will, once she gets bigger, I would have to take it out to, um, you know, to actually and actually try for a baby to have one. So it would be a lot of thought in that if I decided to have another one. I'm just going to enjoy the ones I got for the time I got. And I know everything comes in seasons. And that's why I'm like trying to eat it up as much as I can off the no slip that I have. I'm just trying to eat it up, y'all.
All right, y'all, I'm trying to get dressed and I'm trying to figure out what to wear. I was thinking of wearing these jeans right here and like a brown shirt. I wanted to be like a real neutral color. And then I was gonna put this with it. But I don't know, it's another shirt I'm thinking about going with too. You can kind of see the bra underneath. I don't really like that. But, okay, so this is one one of the options right here and then i'll show y'all the other shirt in a second another one i was thinking about doing was this plaid situation going on but i feel like if i wear this then it'll clash with carter's plaid you guys will see carter's plaid later but i usually wear it like this tie it up you know it's cute and then just like roll these up but i don't i don't think i want them for pictures i don't really know Sorry y'all, Derek loudmouth self on the phone. Ugh. See? Like it's cute, but I don't know if it's picture cute. And like I said, I feel like our plaids will clash. Let me show y'all real quick. I'll show y'all his plaid. See? I don't think it'll go. Well, look too. Mm -mm. I don't like that together. No, okay, go ahead. Okay. All right, and then this was the other option, but it's very revealing. I I usually have a, a top to go underneath it, but I think I'm just gonna go with the the, right, are you ready to go get in the, truck? the beige top. Yeah. Put in the truck. Yeah. I think that's the vibes for the family. This giving date night something. You know what I'm saying? Okay, to make it easier, I'm just going to go with this, like I was telling you guys. Um, and then, I don't know if y'all can see the shoes, but these shoes. Yeah, I'm just going to go with this. You think these shoes match? Yeah. Kids are dressed. Looky cutie. Looky cutie. Are you getting mad? We here. We here. You ready to see the pumpkins? Yeah. Yeah? So, <laughs> all right. All right, yeah. Is that goldfish? Is <laughs> that goldfish Carter? He's holding on for dear life for himself. <laughs> they, 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 they ain't on the road. He's an every man for themselves. Aw, Carter. Sweet and cute. Hi. Oh, Carter, Carter. <laughs> oh, he's full of Lady Carter. <laughs> and I'll shoot this way so that I get the tree and hopefully everything. I'm doing a portrait pose. It's an old building. What's going on? It's so much going on. This one has no interest in being in any pictures. It was so much easier when he was no Miles H. Yeah. Again. I like how y'all color coordinate these. We try. <laughs> uh, uh, not an option. <laughs> Are you bitter? That's 